morning again, it's Kane. Uh, today we're talking about yet yeah, another Sizzle Season weapon. This video is also kind of retreading on an older video I made on this channel, uh, and that was the one talking about Inkjet. Back in my previous video from months and months and months ago for several balance patches, if you remember, the idea was I was saying that early on in Splatoon 3, the jetpack basically didn't belong. Uh, due to being weak for numerous reasons, no, no ink armor, you know, the ability to parry, just really inconsistent buggy, all, all those sort of things. And at this point in the game, we've kind of 180'd on that entirely, whereas back then I was, say, I was pretty much arguing like jetpack doesn't really have any value in, you know, current patches. But here we are today and jetpack is like one of the, the strongest specials in the game. We're going to ignore that first fight because it's me just simply being bad. Um, so the question remains, what the heck happened? Why, why is Jetpack good now when it was so terrible before? Like, what did they change? Uh, the gist of it is that one patch, I forget which one, uh, not too far before, basically bug fixed Inkjet so that it's more consistent. And that in itself is just a massive quality of life. So that's good. That's a start. Um, but the second things that they really did is the first one uh, that's immediately noticeable to, you know, anyone is that when you jump an inkjet, like hitting B midair, you go much higher, and that gives you a lot more freedom to kind of move around the map and, you know, abuse the angles that are normally impossible in this game that inkjet is good at doing. Uh, so that's massive. And that, like, fundamentally changes uh, a lot of the arguments I sort of had in that old inkjet video. Because some of those, you know, awkward angles, like I think you used undertow right side flank as an example, uh, some of those were really awkward to do with pre-patch inkjet because it simply didn't go high enough. Uh, now it kind of ignores that and just sort of goes wherever it wants to a point where a lot of shorter range weapons simply can't even really contest jetpack anymore. Uh, and that kill there, the two shot that I got brings us into the next point about inkjet. Um, being that they made it so that the radius of the 50 damage hitbox on Inkjet is bigger and is much easier to hit. So they made it more consistent, they buffed the reward, and they reduced the risk all at the same time. So what we're left with is basically a special that feels very difficult to contest for many weapons in this game and can kind of snowball insanely well. Uh, so then the next question would be, okay, what has Inkjet that you would consider strong? And the answer to that would, you know, I think most people's immediate answer before the season would be like, oh, Ballpoint's like an actual weapon now because it's special, like, works and Fizzy has good synergy. Uh, with jetpack in the sense of when you're about to pop jetpack, you can shake a fizzy throw out of an area you're trying to flush and like chip damage people or force them to move into the inkjet, that kind of thing. Uh, and that's valid. You definitely, you know, even if you're just playing the game or whatever in Solo Queue, you've probably been seeing a lot more ball points than you used to uh, compared to like early Splatoon 3. That That's for sure. Uh, outside of that, we have Anarchy Nova, which is the weapon I'm kind of focusing on today. I'm going to have several replays of that. Uh, because this is a weapon they added in December, the Nova as a main weapon, and a you Nova know, being the variant that came out this season. Uh, and its kit is Ink Mine plus Ink Jet. That's really freaking good on this kind of weapon. Because to explain Nova is basically it's like a longer ish range shooter, sort of mid rangey with very low damage value, but it does have pretty good pain output, which did get buffed at one point. Um, a pretty good strafe speed, you know, it, you can run like run speed on it, and it's like pretty decent at mobility. So when you combine those, you can do sort of fun things, like put ink binds on like important spots of the map and like choke, choke points and all that kind of stuff. And you can also farm ink jet, and I mean like farm ink jet, like this is a shooter that is pretty damn ink efficient, and if I'm not mistaken, it's... 200p, which, you know, it doesn't sound like cheap necessarily, but on a weapon that paints as much as Nova, like, this this is a lot. Like, this is a lot of ink jets you can farm. We'll see in some of the replays today, like, I I'm, like, just playing the game, like, normally, like, I'm not even explicitly trying to farm jetpack, like, exclusively. But I'll still get games with, like, nine jetpacks. And granted, this is tower control, and, you know, part of that is a little inflated, because in TC you have the, the passive special charge, like, on the tower right now, like, we're pushing and you see the meter going up by itself even though I'm not like actively painting, so there's that, that's a factor. Um, but in spite of that, my point that I'm getting at 
is that Inkjet is insane right now in the sense of it is a snowball special and a half. Like, its reward is ridiculous. You see, like, they're forced to go for a defensive play because it's like over time, and it's like the jetpack creates that sort of crossfire that's like borderline uncontestable in certain situations, and that's really the thing. A lot of the strongest options in a game like Splatoon are the things that, you, you know, really make you go like, oh, uh, what do I really do about that? And, you know, the answer in, like, Inkjet's case is, like, if you can't shoot it down, which a lot of weapons can't do because of the aforementioned uh, jump height buff, is you kind of just have to accept and, like, you know, just deal with it. And when you combine that with, like, additional forms of pressure, you know, like machines under ledges and crabs and all that, it's very strong, to say the least. So we're going to move into the second replay. I'll probably do three again today on this. So moving on to the second replay, I also I sort of I sort of explicitly picked these games because it's not games that I necessarily think I'm doing well. Like you saw me choke like uh something's last game or just like missed jetpack shots. That that's really not, you know, not really focusing on like, oh my mechanical prowess with the Anakin of it. Like, no, I'm literally picking these games because I'm just farming jetpack and series and I'm showing you the kind of value it can give you, even if your jetpacks aren't like the greatest because of the combination of all these kinds of buffs. I'm also running a special power, uh, which makes it like even more lenient in that sense. So yeah, that's pretty freaking good. Yeah, honestly, Anarchy Nova's just been kind of fun, and when I say Anarchy Nova's been kind of fun, I mean, it's kind of fun to just farm, like, an S-tier special, because I think Inkjet, at this point, you could genuinely make the argument that it's, like, you know, like, S-tier, like, it is very freaking strong right now. I don't know why I picked that, that was dumb, don't do that. Uh, but yeah, also, I forgot to have the thing in the bottom right, I hope I did that last game, because sometimes I do forget, because I'm kind of just trying to, like, you can think about how I'm trying to speak because these videos aren't scripted, they're more just me talking about the game. And I've, I've had people like tell me, like, okay, you should just do more videos where you talk about the game, so that's for you. Again, I picked this game because, you know, it's Scorch TC, we all know how, like, snowball -y this can get and bad, like, really quickly. Um, but it stands as, like, the example of, like, oh, like, how are we gonna make this comeback? And, like, spoilers. Jetpack. Jetpack is how you make the comeback. It is insanely good. And when it comes to jetpack, when you build so many, you're going to be given a lot of opportunities to get those potential kind of multi-kills that it is easily capable of doing. Uh, so that's really strong. Also, this I should have definitely killed, but I, yeah, I, I whiffed that last two shots pretty poorly. I should have strafed toward their general direction. But again, this video isn't really focused on the mechanics or saying that, oh, I'm good at Nova. It's more just kind of a mix of, oh, hey, check out this weapon. Uh, and you can really see how much Splatoon 3 has changed in the sense of, like, you know, comparing to when I made that old video about Jetpack and being like, wow, Jetpack sucks. Like, I look at Jetpack now and I'm like, damn, it's kind of hard to believe this is the same game, but when you bug fix and give it, like, two massive buffs in the same patch and add another, like, shooter type weapon that can farm it, uh, cra crazy that it becomes strong, isn't it? Really crazy. Again, it's really the thing, it's like, it, it feels so difficult to actually peek and do anything. Like, the rapid's trying to pre-fire tower, the dynamo's trying to, like, punish the tower, the guy's trying to flank, and then it's just an active jetpack that sort of prevents you from doing all of that, or at the least, even if I don't kill them, it sort of forces them to play a certain way. And that's, like, one of the strongest things a special can do, is make people play a certain way. You know, we've seen, like, early, you know, months of this game, uh, with stuff like Crab Tank, where it's like, yeah, Crab Tank forces you to play in such a way, that was a good direct. Crab Tank forced you to play in such a way, it still does, just a, a bit less extreme, where it's like, yeah, you're not allowed to stand in the open right now, but also you have to be careful around walls because of the, the AoE thing, right? So, it's kind of crazy, you know, it's, it's a thing where I've heard people, you know, like, jokingly, and I say jokingly with, like, air quotations, it's, like, half-joking, but also kind of, like, a legitimate point. Uh, where they say, like, oh, Inkjet right now is just flying crab. And, like, they're kind of not wrong, honestly. Um, you know, I talked about Ballpoint and Nova, you know, so far, being, like, the main ones. Um, but Rapid Echo is actually quite legitimate as well, I feel. Not to, like, the same degree, because we're talking about jetpack explicitly, and, like, Rapid will not farm as many jetpacks as the other two, for sure, just because its pain output is much lower, but Rapid can also, you know, be that AoE. Uh, annoying people kind of weapon because it has torpedo as well. That's just interesting. Because I think even now, um, with Nova, 
and grab a Deco. If I'm not mistaken, those are still- we still only have four weapons with Inkjet. So it's kind of insane to me to think. You know, we're, we're, we're still early out enough on in Splatoon 3 where it's like, yeah, we have like 17 specials. But, uh, you know, if one just happens to be like so polarizingly strong, then, you know, even if the distribution is super limited, it can still be game-defining. And, you know, that's not a new concept either, because the same applied with Crab Tank. Like, hell, we're nine months into the game. Uh, at this point, they haven't added a single new Crab Tank weapon. At all. And, like, you might have to sit there and think for a minute and be like, no, Keen, that, 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 that can't be right. No, like, sit there, think about it for a second. Crab Tank has Splash, obviously, that's, like, the one. You have Dually. Um, and you have Splash Up Pro. And that's quite literally it, which means we'll definitely get one in, like, the fall season, I imagine, but... Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think about. Also, yeah, I kind of talked over it for the last few seconds, but it's kind of the example of, like, you know, far more jetpack, get more chances to win, uh, jetpack, get triple. Oh, okay, now we're in a snowballing position. And we win the game, even though the lead is, like, pretty damn deep. And part of that is, like, a Scorch TC problem, like, that one has gotten this map, you know, like, a loss after they got to, like, five. It's one of those, but again, this video is kind of just sort of the Inkja retrospective slash analysis slash... Damn, how is this in the same game as the one I was talking about like three months ago? Uh, so we'll do like one more replay. So I'm picking this replay because I wanted to do another Brinewater. Like, I had more examples of me snowballing on Sports, but I wanted to pick Brinewater explicitly because I'm trying to find uh, a replay. And I think, I think this is one of them that explicitly shows, like, oh, hey, look at the height buff that they added to Inkjet actually affects this one piece of map geometry that was really awkward before and could have been broken and now is broken. Uh, and that is, like, the sign on the left right now. That sign with the Inkjet, you know, jump height buff thing, you can get on top of that very easily and it gives you the line of sight on the enemy spawn. Uh, and when I say spawn, I mean spawn. Like, you can, you can pretty much get their whole spawn on sight. I don't know why I ignored that guy and then just... Uh, miss the other shot, I don't know, it's goofy. Again, this is like... Don't, don't take this video as like, Oh, here's how to play Nova, I saw Keen win with it. It's like, no, literally, it's just, it's just we're talking about Ink Jet. Um... You know, speaking of Ink Jet, we had two in this game also, it was actually good tracking. Um... I pop it here. Yeah, but even there, like, going from tower and then getting, like, this angle up here, and, like, directing the, the missile guy, then the AoE, to, like, get that person like it's just very it's very strong it is very very strong and I've said that a lot this video but I, I don't know how much more I can really emphasize that like jetpack is a real special right now genuinely just like try it if you haven't I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't it is it is kind of crazy for sure Yeah, like, my, my jetpack goes down there, and then the second jetpack is out, so the guy's still in the corner can't really play the game or anything. <laughs> like, it, it is... It is tough, man. And again, when I talked about Ink Mine, I only talked about it, like, briefly, but you see what I'm doing where I'm, like, putting mines down uh, as we're pushing, so that when they're trying to push out a spawn, they, like, trip the mine, and you know that weakens them and marks them to be more susceptible to die to jetpack again, as you will farm a million of them when playing stuff like Ballpoint. And Nova just like naturally. It was kind of crazy. And honestly speaking, I try. Try it tries to get a uh, ace of like, you know, sub special matters in this game a lot. Like you could have a busted special, which like, you know, we could argue jetpack is right now, right? But like Mist is so debilitating on try that it's like not really relevant, but it's crazy to think. Like if Try had a better sub for it, it'd be like you know, easily among the best weapons in the game still right now. And that's not to say it's bad, because, like, it's not. But it, it's interesting to think about. Though I don't think this replay actually shows the spot I wanted to. Maybe it does. Does the game end here? It does end here. Because, um, what you can do is sort of in the middle of the map, like, over, like, here, you can, like, immediately jump on top of that with Ancient and then, like, get the angle and all of this in spawn, which is, like, ridiculously strong. Uh, that's, like, the main one I wanted to use as an example. 
you know, the jetpack hype buff just, you know, radically changing how the game plays. Uh, but yeah, that's sort of my thoughts, my ramples. Uh, in conclusion, you know, if you watch through to the end, you, you surely get the point of the video by now, but, um, you know, in case you want to review real quick, uh, jetpack good. Jetpack really good. Jetpack might get nerfed. Uh, don't be surprised if that happens. Um, yell at me to make more videos complaining about things being bad, because clearly if I do that, the devs are like, yeah, we should do something about that, and then it becomes meta-defining, so, uh... Yeah, maybe we should complain about our favorite special being bad, and then maybe the devs will retune it. Smile. Uh, but yeah. That's all I got. Yeah, pack. Thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Anticate is pretty cool. And join me again in the next video. I'll catch you then. Have a good day. Been keen.